guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we will be reviewing another dinosaur family as I love to review sets of dinosaurs that companies release where there's more than one. And today we are reviewing the Collecte Spinosaurus family, which you have the deluxe version and then you have these two standard versions. But I guess it wouldn't be a full blown Collecte Spinosaurus party unless you included their old uncle or grandfather this ugly deluxe version that they had released prior to the four-legged here version. There is also an older standard version, but I don't have that one. That one was just a little too ugly for me to ever actually purchase. But as you can see, look at here, there's a whole lot of sales going on, and some of them are much nicer than others. I don't know if I'm really sold on the whole four-legged Spinosaurus. There's a pretty big debate going on where some people think that it was still uh, bipedal. A lot of people think that it wasn't. I don't really know for sure. I've read up on it a little bit, but I couldn't possibly tell you what one is the correct uh, version of it. But regardless, I think that these newer versions that Collect A made are beautiful and way, 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 way better than their older version. This older version that they have back here is probably one of the ugliest Spinosaurus that I've ever seen in my life. But these newer versions are absolutely beautiful looking. Don't just believe me when I tell you that. Let's take a closer look and you can see for yourself. We'll start with some of these standard versions. This one here is the swimming version. Now, one thing that you should know about this is with the 2018 lineup of Collected coming out, they have actually retired this one. So if you do like this swimming version of the Spinosaurus, you might want to buy this immediately because it's not going to be available for long. They have, I believe they've already stopped production on it, so whatever's out there is all that's left. They won't be making any more, and as you can see, it is very nice looking. The uh, coloration, uh, I'm not really sold completely on the coloration of any of these newer ones. I kind of feel like uh, they're kind of strange colored but they don't look terrible. I, I would have definitely rathered a different color. I like the black spots all over it, but I don't really like the odd bright green or the, the red a little bit on the face. Kind of looks like he's just dressed up for Christmas, if you ask me. But it doesn't look terrible. The detailing, however, of these dinosaurs is phenomenal. Collecte did such a good job. The jaw looks absolutely beautiful the way it should. There's a nice tongue in there that you can't see too well but it looks pretty good the way it is. It's got a very nice glossed black eye and a little bit of a yellow crest right there above the head you can see. And then the detailing, the scales all over look absolutely awesome. Going down the whole neck, there's nice bumps and, and uh, scales all over the place. The underside of the neck also looks very good. It's a nice white color. They've got that beautiful big claw like they should. It's got a nice gloss on that as well. Unfortunately, they did only pure black with the coloration of the claws, but one thing about Collect Day is that they never do over-the-top paint jobs with their dinosaurs. It's not like a Papo paint job. I've mentioned this numerous times, but they do a good enough paint job that it'll still look absolutely beautiful. This one actually has more tone and shades to it, I think, than most do. Even just the, the fact that the sail on the back is darker brown than anywhere else on the rest of the body really makes it look nice. It's got a very crocodilian look to it, especially the tail, which is sculpted beautifully. Everything about this sculpt is absolutely awesome. I'm highly, highly being persuaded by myself to purchase one and repaint them. Probably a deluxe version, just because I think the bigger version would be more fun to paint. But, uh, yeah, they, they uh, they look fantastic. Actually, the sail is close to the color that the tail turns into, so there is a little bit of a, it's, it's not quite as dark. See, again, I'm saying that they've done a better job with um, the actual shading and the subtle changes of coloration in these than they did on their older ones. So that was uh, definitely a plus as far as these figures go. This, like I said, it's in a swimming pose, so it does look very beautiful in the nice majestic swimming pose. You could just imagine it swimming through a river or a lake somewhere, searching for fish. Because these were, as far as we know, fish eaters. That's not to say that they didn't prey on dinosaurs from time to time. But I think the majority, they were probably in ponds and rivers and stuff, searching for fish. 
So this swimming version is absolutely awesome. Heartbreaking that they've retired this. I don't know why they did it because it is so nice. I think if anything they should have retired this guy just because he resembles the deluxe version way more than the swimming version does. So I think retiring this one would have been probably a better decision just so they had some variety still out with their Spinosaurs. But again, as far as coloration goes, this one is colored exactly the same as the other one, but it's just in a different pose. This one, I guess, would be in a uh, pretty much just a standing pose. He's just kind of checking the place out. Uh, again, I'm not completely sold on the, the bright greens that it has, but overall, I think it does still look very nice. All the same details that are on the other one are pretty much the same on this one. It's just in a different position and it does look equally as beautiful as the swimming Spinosaurus does. The mouth, everything still the same. The jaw looks just like the other one. Crocodilian type tail, beautiful sail. The paint on the sail, I think on actually all of them could have been applied a little better. I feel like the paint on the sail was a little bit sloppy, but it doesn't look terrible. So overall, also a beautiful model. I would definitely recommend this one as well. But as I said, the swimming version is re being retired, so you should probably get on buying that one first if you're gonna buy any, as these other ones will be available longer. The uh, two standard versions do not have an articulated jaw, but the Deluxe does have an articulated jaw. So you can open and close his jaw. It's got a beautiful glossy black eye. The inside of the mouth, you can see the jaw opens very wide if you want it to. The inside of the mouth is detailed pretty well, but not nothing over the top. The tongue actually doesn't really have any detail at all done into it, but it doesn't look bad. Uh, the scaling and the bumps all over the body, absolutely beautiful. One of the reasons why I think this one would be so fun to repaint is because there's just so much done as far as the detail goes to the body. Beautiful, huge sail. Again, somewhat of a sloppy paint application on the sail, but it still does look pretty good, especially if you take a step back. Nice big claw, that big signature claw that this dinosaur family had. The oddly bright green, but it's got some nice muscle tone here in the legs. Beautiful calf muscles there. Beautiful hip. The hip isn't really protruding from the body very much, but it still looks very good. And again, big crocodilian tail. The details on this and the other two are pretty similar. They're all pretty much the same because they're all basically sculpted all the same way. But this one is just much larger. It is very, very big and beautiful, especially if you're into the four-legged version of a Spinosaurus. I don't know if you'll find too much better than this. And then we go to the goofball of the bunch, this ridiculous looking Spinosaurus. I'm not really sure what they were going for when they created this one. <laughs> it kind of reminds me like, it makes me think that maybe they wanted to make a Jurassic Park version because of the color scheme is similar to the, the base color of the JP3 one. But if that was their approach, they did a terrible job at it. The uh, tongue has pretty much no detail, a little bit, but not much. The teeth look pretty goofy. They're kind of sloppily painted. As you can see, the white on the bottom of the jaw just kind of runs from the teeth onto the jaw. The overall paint on it doesn't look terrible. I do like the nice dry brushing that they've put all over it. it gives it a more realistic approach. The eye does have a beautiful gloss on it. I think the eye itself is colored nicely. And even though this thing is pretty ridiculous looking, I do still like it because it has a very vintage feel to it. It really takes me back to the way I thought Spinosaurus looked when I was a kid. So it does win me over as far as the vintage feel, but the only thing it really needed was the tail dragging on the ground because when I was introduced to dinosaurs nice and young, that's how they, they were, uh, you know, displayed to us. I was always under the assumption that the tail did drag on the ground until I got a little older, found out that that was not the case. But uh, yeah, that's about the only thing that this thing is missing as far as a vintage feel. The feet are unreasonably large. He does have very large feet. Almost reminds you of a Schleich model. The sail itself is fat for some reason. It's very, very thick. I wouldn't think that a Spinosaurus would have such a thick sail, 
but the actual sculpt work, the detailing doesn't look bad. There's a lot of skin folds and stuff all throughout the body, especially right here in the stomach. You can see it's uh, the leg is put in a uh, pulled back position, so it's really pulling on the skin. So they did a good job of the skin folds there and showing the detail of the actual body as it's moving. And the sculpt work with the scales does look pretty good pretty much all over the place. The sail itself, besides being fat, has a lot of detail put into it, so it does look pretty good from the side. But overall, the appearance of this Spinosaurus is pretty silly. The toenails and the fingernails are very glossy. They are super, super highly glossy. And it's strange that they made those glossy, they made the eyes glossy, but there's no gloss in the mouth. You ever notice that a lot of companies don't really ever put gloss in the mouth of their dinosaurs? I don't know if there's a reason for that, but if you're going to gloss the eyes and the toenails, I'm going to guarantee you that the inside of the mouth should be glossy. But, I don't know, maybe that's just me being a little bit picky and nitpicking. But overall, I mean, it's, it's cute, I guess, for what it is. It's just pretty silly looking. I wouldn't recommend buying it unless you're just looking for a vintage Spinosaurus look. Then this might be your guy. As far as the sizes go on all of these, the swimming, oh, we're not going to find out, the swimming version is a little over nine inches long. Height wise, you're looking at in the three inch range, somewhere in that area. And I can pretty much assure you that this guy will be very similar to that. Yep, nine inch range in length and height wise, again, three inches. So those two are pretty much the exact same thing just in different poses. This massive beast, however, is much longer. You'll see he's about, I'd say in the 14 inch range, height wise, you're looking at about close to five inches. And then this one, this massive goofy looking Spinosaurus is 13 inches almost on the dot and about six inches, maybe a little over in height. So overall, I would recommend these four-legged versions, definitely. They are all beautiful, all three of them, each in different poses. They all look absolutely fantastic. The, uh, again, the green paint and maybe a little more detail on the actual tongue are pretty much my only nitpicks with these. And the one in the back, you probably should really only purchase if you're just looking for a nice vintage Spinosaurus, because overall he's kind of silly looking. But they do make a nice little family, especially if you take their weird old grandpa out of the back there, and you only look at those three, they look beautiful. So I will link you guys as to where you can buy all of these, especially as I said, the swimming version is about to be retired. It actually, I believe, is retired already, so you would probably want to get on buying that before they're all gone. I will link you guys as to where you can purchase all four. Please like, comment, and subscribe, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.